Welcome to the next edition of the Multifamily Investor Nation Summit se Speaker Intro Series. With us right now is Nathan Tabor. Nathan, welcome. Hey, Dan. It's good to be here. Thanks for having me uh, in this little short segment, and I'm really looking forward to the event coming up. Well, it's coming up really fast. I can't believe it's already going to be next week. I mean, a week from today, we're going to be in the middle of starting that first day of the summit. I'm really excited about it. We've been preparing for it since the last summit in January. You spoke at that last summit and several people who are going to be at this summit will have heard you there, but a lot of people are going to be new and they're not going to be, you know, knowing a little bit about you. So can you get us started and share with us a little bit about yourself and your background? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, basically a serial entrepreneur, I've had my fingers in kind of various businesses from emails and uh, buy here, pay here car lots. But the last uh, 13 years, I've been heavily involved in buying, renovating, and flipping multifamily. Uh, personally, for LLCs that I've owned, um, I've done $52 million worth of flipping, 26 deals. Uh, I've raised a little over a million dollars in, in private equity to help uh, facilitate those deals. And then I work with a lot of people on, on coaching or consulting on, you know, how to buy, when, where to buy or build or just in general real estate, you know, how to get in, how to either get started or how to grow from where you are. So I've got a, a pretty good background in real estate. I still don't know everything and I don't think I ever will, but I got a good, you know, background in, in how to do things and probably due diligence is one of my most, you know, things that I like to focus on the most because that's where you can really, you can win or you can lose in due diligence. Yes. And you're actually the author of this book, right? Yes, I am. I've, I've authored that book, uh, How to Find, Finance, Fix, and Flip Apartments. And um, as I tell people, it's, uh, you've got my successes in there, but if you've, you've thumbed through any of it, it's mostly like, hey, don't do this because I did it and this is how it, I failed or this is how much money I lost. So, you know, avoid this and do it this way. And I even got the specialized version with a nice signature in there as well. Hey, there you go with the dedication. That's the, spe that's the special book right there. So where can somebody get that book if they're interested in, in, in getting that book? Yeah, so if they go to Nathan Tabor, N-A-T-H-A-N-T-A-B as in boy, O-R.com, and then just click on real estate and uh, you can get a free ebook copy of it or you can order, um, you know, from the, uh, from the site there and it'll be shipped to you as a hard copy. Awesome. Awesome. Well, um, share with us a little bit about what you're going to be speaking on at the event. Yeah, so I'm going to be talking about um, nine laws around fixing apartments. So whether you're going to keep them or you're going to flip them, you know, what are some of the things that you should be really focused on? Because a lot of times people, you know, they'll run their numbers. You know, this is 50 units times this much rent times this many expenses. This is how much I can make but they really don't dig into what are some of the things they should be looking for during that. So, you know, being knowledgeable and being thorough about what they're doing. Uh, you know, how do you use technology? How can you use technology in our current environment, current business environment to help you do these deals better? Uh, what type of structures do you have in place? Cause a lot of times people, and I struggled with this in the beginning, you know, I could go do one deal, but I couldn't do another deal until that one was done. And not necessarily from the financing, but you know, who do you use? How do you find your contractors? What type of, of contracts do you use with them? And then you've been doing this for a long time. If you ever paid a contractor up front, you know, a third or a half, and then they never show up. Oh yeah. And I mean, if you're just kind of starting out and money's already tight, you know, that's it's devastating at any point, but it's really devastating if you're just kind of getting off the ground. You know, do you run this as a hobby business or are you doing this full time? You know, what's the differences? What do you need to look out for? Um, you know, being capitalized, making sure you have enough money. And I'm sure you've heard of, you know, this in your business as well. A lot of times people will do deals so tight that if they miss a thousand or five thousand dollars in renovations, they're upside down. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're doing a million dollar deal and you don't have a five thousand dollar buffer, you're in trouble because you need to have a 30 or 40 or $50,000 buffer. Yeah, I was getting ready to say that same thing, you know, 5,000 seems a little low. I probably get a little higher than that too, so. Mine, mine is, I have a 30% buffer. So if my renovations are $100,000, it's gotta be 130,000. Yeah, that's a, that's a smart way to do it because you know, anytime a contractor sends you an estimate or whatever, 
just increase that by 20, 30% and that how you had that extra buffer because chances are it's not going to get a cheaper. It's going to probably get a little bit more expensive. Yeah. And then if you, yeah, if you, if you got extra money over good for you, but if you don't, I mean, what do you do? Go back to the bank and say, Hey, I, I, I didn't run my numbers right. Or go to investors and say, I didn't run my numbers right. They might help you out maybe, but they're definitely not going to do another deal with you because now you've, you've proven to them you don't know what you're doing. Absolutely. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing you and your session. And one of the things I want to also mention to the audience is, is that every single one of these sessions that we're going to be doing, there's gonna be 70 speakers over a three day period of time. There's going to be three separate rooms going on at the same time. So you will not be able to watch every single one of them and uh, really digest the information. So we're going to be recording every single one of those sessions and you will have access to, to watch those recordings as a paid attendee for four months following the event. So why do you feel, Nathan, it's important for somebody who might be kind of sitting on the fence right now to for have the ability to actually attend an event like this? Well, you know, having, having participated in, but also watched some of the other things, this is what I tell people. Had I been knowledgeable, had I researched what I was doing, one five-minute phone call would have saved me $150,000 on my second deal. So if you're going to get into this business and you're going to be doing it and you're doing, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in deals, you really need to know what you're doing. And how else can you know what you're doing unless you learn from others? And this is a great avenue to do that because there's a lot of others out there. And yeah. now you can actually hear from over 70 of those other people and see who you really want to align with, you know, whether right. it's a coach or a mentor or, you know, maybe just somebody to actually partner with on a future opportunity or maybe even invest with them. Oh, just, and just the information of sitting down and listening to their, you know, this is what I did to be successful, or this is, you know, what I did that I failed, you know, avoid this. There's great content throughout all the various 70 speakers that someone can get a really good grasp on what they should be doing or what they shouldn't be doing. Absolutely. And you actually have a special promo code for the people who are watching right now that are ready to buy their ticket and you can give them an extra $100 off their ticket. So what's that promo code? Uh, promo code is my last name, Tabor, T-A-B as in boy O-R. If you put that into the site, you save $100 off uh, your ticket, which that's a pretty good savings, right? It is. So right now the tickets are going for $299. And so that extra $100 off brings it down to $199. And I even had people from the last event in January say that the price needs to double because of all the content, the value that they found in the event. So did you tell them to hold on that you would send them a special link that they could pay yes, through? Yes, for absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> for those of you who found more value, you can send us more money. <laughs> Here's a donate button to the, the Dan fund, you know, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, Nathan, thank you so much for taking some time this afternoon to be with us here. Looking forward to having you speak at the event next week at the Multifamily Investor Nation Summit. For those of you who are ready to buy your ticket, go to mfinsummit.com and put in the promo code TABOR, T-A-B-O-R, and you will be able to get $100 off your tickets. Thank you so much, Nathan. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Appreciate it.